Hallelujah. The scripture says when he comes back, he said, behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. And I will give to every man according to what his work will be. So I can't give you credit. I can't give you payday and you didn't do your work. Yeah, we were to Brother Johnson was talking about them, the, the men, you know, this is a man's world. But the other part of what James said was it wouldn't be anything without a woman or a little girl. Yeah, we got to tell the whole story. Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I don't care who you are, mister. You are incomplete without your rib. And vice versa. Hallelujah. She is supposed to reflect you. You, mister, are supposed to be reflecting y'all. Come on. Yahshua reflected y'all. We got to reflect Yahshua who is reflecting y'all. And he gave us the power by which we can do that. He didn't tell us to do something and didn't give us the capability to do it. When he said, keep my commandments, why do people teach you can't do it? That's a bad reflection. To say, Yah told me to do it, but he didn't tell me I could do it. He didn't give me the power to do it. But I think I heard him say, I gave you power. I gave you love. And I gave you a sound mind. So he's telling, he's telling us, I didn't give you what you need, but you got to use it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He gave us what we need, but we got to use it. A man told me the other day, if you don't use it, boy, y'all been here, y'all been hearing somebody talk. Uh -huh. Yeah, see, he wants us to get active right now. These are the last days, if we really believe that. He wants us to show the world what we're standing for. What the purpose is for us even being on Main Street Independence. Yes, it's a small town, but we're not just reaching independence. We're reaching the world. We're on every media you can name except for Twitter and a couple of other ones I don't know too much about, but we're going to get them too. Yeah, and then ultimately we're going to be on international television. I'm glad somebody agreed with me because I spoke it. Hallelujah. <laughs> I wasn't scared to speak it because he told me he's going to give me some trials and tribulation, which is going to give me experience. And when I get through getting all that experience, he's going to give me hope. And now that I got that hope on the inside of me. He said, hope that is not seen hurts the heart. I don't see it yet the way I want to see it. But I see him working. So I'm standing on the background. I can't stand in the foreground. I'm going to stand in the background and let him go out there. He's my leader. Do you trust him yet? Nehemiah chapter 13. I'm going to have to speed up a little bit else. I'm going to have to do, a, do parts or something. I got scripture here I want to just share with everybody. Nehemiah 13, verse number 26. He said, did not Shalomon, Solomon, sovereign of Israel, sin because of them? Among the many nations, there was no sovereign like Solomon who, who was beloved of Almighty Yah. And Almighty Yah made him king over all Israel. Even him, foreign women, caused him to sin. Now, just because I'm telling you that you got this greatness about you, don't get beside yourself. Because sometimes that greatness will make you act so foolish that you look bad to Almighty God. Even though he got his spirit in you, even though he got that knowledge in you, you have taken it and went the wrong way with it. Solomon allowed all of that greatness about him. Why is this man he's called that ever lived and more richest man that ever lived? Joel Osteen can't even compare to him. 
They got a man from Nigeria who's the richest preacher in the world. I think he's worth about $500 million. And he don't even compare to a scratch on Solomon's back. Solomon was the man. And he allowed women to mess him up. He wasn't reflecting yeah then. He was reflecting all them different idols and them women that he had over there. Messed him up. Hallelujah. We went after Christmas. We didn't know who Christmas was. We thought that that big old fat guy with a beard coming through the chimney. All he was was a resemblance of that demon. We was, we was putting children out there with Easter egg hunts. We didn't know who Astrid was. But we were lifting our hands to her. And the father hate Astrid. But that's who Easter is representing. That's the reflection. Now we were taught to give gifts to our loved one during Valentine's Day. Didn't know we was reflecting Eros. The, the God of lustful love. We did so much evil, it's a crying shame. And we were reflecting the devil at a level that was so high, the devil was pleased with us. But one day, <laughs> that's the day we ought to get excited about. That day when he touched me and he made, he made me whole. Something, something happened. Now I know. See, we got to get that touch. From heaven. Because he want to touch you. Mm. Scripture says we shouldn't even be lying to one another. Who are you reflecting when you lie? The one who lied to Eve in the garden. Did he tell you you're going to die if you eat that fruit, baby? That's what he said. The devil said, you ain't going to die. He just don't want you to get smart as him. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna die. Go on, girl. Eat that thing. In the lust of the eyes, in the lust of her flesh, in the pride of her life, caused her to eat and hot down with her. They believed the lies, so they started reflecting lies. And liars will not have any part with him. But they will have a part. Praise Almighty God. James said, Be blessed, our old human father, and with it we curse men. What, what, what he gave us that we curse men with? He gave us a tongue. And instead of our tongue reflecting the words that come out of our mouths, we curse people. I know y'all don't do that, right? You got a reason being quiet, I know that. <laughs> we curse people. See, I'm not talking about cuss people. I said we curse people. We pronounce bad things on people. Look at him. He ain't going to never be nothing. Look at her. She's going to be pregnant before she's 15 years old. And you don't know that when you speak a word, because you have that in you, then you know that if you spoke a word and send it out, it will accomplish what you send it to do. That's good or evil. It's going to accomplish your will. How many of y'all realize that? So if you realize that, each one of us in here ought to watch every word that comes out of our mouth. Because the scripture says you will answer for every idle word that you done spoke. Is that something to play with? 
Because if we sit down and think about all the foolishness we done talked, all the lies we done told, all that stuff we done did with our tongue, then we got to understand that we will stand in judgment before the Most High. You're supposed to be reflecting him, and here you are talking like the devil. Hello, somebody. We got to get our business straight. Yeah, we got to put that new man on. Anybody got a new one to put on? Yeah, take off Isaac. I ain't going to call no name because people are going to say I'm talking about him. Take off Isaac and put on Yahshua. That's the new man. That's the man that was made without sexual cohabitation. That man. If you're right to call him a man. Because to me, he was more than just an ordinary man. Uh, in Colossians 3.10, it says, we got to put on a new man renewed in the knowledge according to the likeness of him who created him. So right now, we need to be putting on whatever he's given us so we can look like him. Anybody here really got a desire to look like him? Or do you just want to keep on going through the churchianity thing? Huh? Because it's easy to go to church. Everybody go to church. But everybody's not changing. They're just going to church, paying their dues, and going home. But when, when is the change going to occur? We got to make a change. Something got to become different. Can I get a witness? The renewed man, which was created according to the Almighty in righteousness and set apartness of the truth. Therefore, having put off lying, speak the truth, each one to his neighbor. For we are members of one another. And maybe that's why the Father instructed us at the beginning of this service that all of us join hands and pray. Because we are members one of another. If you hurt Brother Ron back there, you hurt me. Hallelujah. Hello, somebody. See, if we're not feeling this, then we're not really the body that we think we are. You can't hurt me without hurting everybody because we are one body. You might not be the head, but you might be the feet that carry the head where it got to go. Huh? And you might be one little toe on that foot, but just be glad you're a part of the body. And whatever part you got to play, do your part. Don't worry about what the ear doing. You wasn't called to be the ear. You were called to be a finger. Do what fingers do. But everybody want these positions they weren't called for. And if you were, if you were called to be a prophet, you're going to reflect the office of a prophet. If you were called to be an evangelist, you're going to reflect that. But don't get in here talking about you were called to be a prophet and you're sitting out there playing around. Prophets don't have time to play. They spend most of their time listening to get a word from heaven. And most times it's not going to be a pleasant word. It's going to be something to challenge your existence. Uh, Y'all see why people don't want me to preach at their church? 